All right, good morning, guys. It's opening weekend, which I usually hate fishing, but I've got a road trip coming up, and I wanted to hit this lake before I took off. But yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen boats on this dinky little lake. But that's how it goes. Gonna see if we can get a limit of kokanee today. We haven't really marked anything promising yet. Looks like just trout scattered. I'm gonna do one dropper, one downrigger today. I like to mix it up. That's a decent poke. There. That's really what I'm after. Is that one right there. Yeah, that's a dandy. That's a dandy. So here I'm gonna show you some kokanee on sonar. Um, here's one that's relatively shallow, just got bit. Just a little dash here. This one's sort of the classic arch. And the reason you get this arch is because this is just a measure of the distance from the transducer. So when they're far away from the transducer and then they get a little closer as they get underneath the boat, they arch. Oop, got a fish there, so I better take care of that. And then as they get further away again, the transducer, they arch away from it. That's why you get the arch. Okay, that's what we want. Don't stay down. Gotcha. So here you go, you're gonna have multiple fish. This is my downrigger. And there is three kokanee right there that came up to check out the downrigger ball. Sonar is the primary thing I rely upon um, in all situations, just because of the range of depths that it operates in. You can go anywhere from zero to two or 300 feet or more. Um, I get a little bit of noise here from my motor. That's just part of one of the issues I have with the autopilot, which I don't like. Oop, got another fish going on here, so I better get that one. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. Uh, Jesus. Come on. Come on, dude. Let get up. Jeez. Okay, so here's what kokanee look like on down imaging. They'll just be these little streaks or flecks like this. This is actually wake from a boat that passed in front of me. You can see how it actually mixes the water column into the upper 20 feet. Oop, another fish on. There there was. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you can see how the impacts of wake actually affect down to 20 feet deep, which is really remarkable. Um, but yeah, you can see the kokanee here. These are probably kokanee on the edge of the cone, but these ones are right in it. Now on side imaging, you can see, so this is what the left side of the boat, right side of the boat. This area here is, this is the bottom, and then this is the empty water. You can see kokanee off to my left here, and kokanee here. And so, yeah, this is the relative depth that crossed here, so these fish are you know, midway in the column, 20, 30 feet. Those ones might be just a little bit shallower. So side imaging does let you locate kokanee off to your left and right, but kokanee deeper than 60 feet, you can see that it really starts to get super grainy and not as resolved. Um, when there's 60 feet or greater, I feel like the side imaging doesn't do as great a job. You can still see a fish down there close to the bottom. Um, and if you see fish out here over the top of this bottom, that means they're way off to the left over almost 100 feet off to your left. I'm um, feeding over the bottom, but most of the fish here are suspended. Sometimes when you get dense concentrations of kokanee, it'll just show up like blobs like this because you can't separate the targets. There's so many fish stacked on top of each other. And here you can see there's a bunch of them here. There's basically a swarm of kokanee right there at 20 feet on down imaging. You can get better separation of each individual target fish there to get a better estimate of how many fish are there. And again, on side imaging here, you can see that school is primarily off to my left, but there's actually some just to my right. So they're actually about right underneath the boat. Well, I had a great day out here. Uh, I hope that little video looking at uh, what kokanee look like on sonar, down imaging and side imaging helped. Um, they're all definitely useful tools, but they have varying restrictions. Sonar is the most versatile. Um, down imaging is great for separating individual targets and side imaging works best in under 60 foot of water when you're just trying to locate fish. I'll see you guys next time out on the water. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye guys.